Oh, man, when you've got as many cars as I do and you have a winter climate like we do up here in Minnesota, figuring out where everything's gonna go over the winter and what you're gonna be able to work on is a little tough. But I got everything situated and I got the E10 out here to the shop. Um, basically the significance of that is I'll be able to actually work on the fuel injection conversion, getting the brakes swapped over to the late 2002 style brakes. Uh, work on the interior a little bit, just all the things that really wouldn't necessarily be something I would work on in the 20 or less degree <laughs> outside temperature that's normally in my home garage. Um, but the, uh, the heated space here should uh, allow for that. So this thing just got here yesterday, I dropped it off. Um, I haven't had it up in the air yet. I probably will put it up in the air before I leave just to kind of take a look at the chassis a little bit better. Um, yeah, I don't know, but uh, again, stay tuned for a, a whole bunch of probably videos from this series over the winter. Um, there's a lot, lot to do on this car, but uh, I hope to have it running and driving pretty well in the spring and have some fun with it. Well, I have to say, first impressions are pretty good. This car looks like it's in pretty phenomenal condition. It's got stainless brake lines on the front, which is a little interesting. Oh, a little bit of an oil leak on the block. Ball joints look brand new. That's cool. It's got blue springs in it. Not sure what those are. The chassis looks really nice. Oh yeah, look at that mechanical clutch. Wow, cool. Don't see that too often. <laughs> Speedometer cable, which uh, it doesn't look like it's working. Interesting, interesting. Wow, that is the smallest flex disc I have ever seen in my entire life. You'll have to forgive my curiosity. I've actually never been under an E10 before. Oh yeah, look at that. Another guibo. And the long snout diff. Look at the size of the diff in this thing. These are less desirable because you can't put limited slip differential units in them. However, they are stronger than the later differentials. That should be good for turbo. Wow, this chassis is really nice. We got, do have a little hole in the spare tire well. Some surface corrosion. Looks like that's maybe been touched up a little bit, but... Honestly... This thing's pretty solid, which it ought to be, <laughs> honestly. Wow, okay, new brake hard lines. Looks like somebody started to actually pay attention to this car. Soft lines look okay. T-valve looks pretty good. The side of the floor is looking good. Surface oxidization, I'll have to touch that up a little bit. Pretty good around the pedal box. We're looking really nice, really solid. Looks like this is the worst of the car right here. And even that's really pretty solid. So I'm probably gonna have to, when I pull the carpet out, try to find this inside and then replace that with some new metal and then coat it with pour 15 just so it doesn't get worse. But all in all, I have to say, pretty happy with the condition of this car underneath. It should be pretty nice. I mean, I didn't, uh, I didn't pay parts car money for it, but I also didn't pay driver money for it. So a happy medium, seems like it's a happy medium in condition. This thing should be a whole bunch of fun to drive, but I'm happy to see that at least it looks like it was cared for. <laughs>